What's up? I can't believe it. They've actually announced what we've been waiting for all this time at this year's Minecraft live event. And luckily, I was watching along with an eagle eye to ensure I gathered 15 things you missed in the Caves and Clips update in Minecraft 1.17. I truly think this update is gonna be one of the biggest, most game-changing so far. From new pets and ores, to brand new biomes and mobs that'll really give you a scare. Trust me, Sub, you're gonna wanna keep watching. Let's get right into it. Number one, Axolotls. A new pet that inhabits an equally new cave biome, we'll talk about later. Or a mob that you can tame that can actually swim with you. The first aquatic pet, because you can't technically tame dolphins. Need to take him with you to travel? That's fine, they fit in buckets. Isn't that just adorable? Besides all the cuteness, you can actually gather multiple of these guys to fight for you. They even have a mechanism where after an attack, they play dead, which will probably be super adorable to watch. However, Sub, I'm also interested in how these guys may help with other things. Perhaps a secret hidden underwater base triggered by axolotls, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. For now, we know these guys will join your ever-growing roster. Your roster of amazing pets. Just imagine one with a name tag. Oh, too cute. Let's move on. Number two, Copper Rust. While it was kind of hard to miss a new ore being added into the game in form of copper, you may not have heard about the block. While initially, a bronze kind of orange will eventually rust and turn bluish over time with slowly updating texture stages. Additionally, you may also not have known that judging by the video, this process should take an average of 16 in-game days. Many have suggested that there should be a way to stop the aging process, maybe a grease or some form of sealant. Number 3. Snowy or Snow Well, Jeb did promise this way back in the Mountains Biome Vote video, and now he's delivered. With this update also including clips in the title, that means that the snowy peaks will also be included in the overhaul. And that includes, well, more snow. And now it's even snowier. Honestly, Sub, I thought we had enough forms of snow. Ice and water already, but I guess now we can look forward to powdered snow. Which looks pretty much the same, except you can fall through it. Kinda like quicksand, but, well, snowier. Ooh, I'm already getting some trap ideas. I don't know about you, Sub, but this could certainly be used to do a bunch of cool things. Maybe it'll make traversing mountainous terrains a bit harsher. Maybe we'll have some more trolling to do. And I know you love trolling. Make sure to check out the link in the description to buy mine coins for Minecraft Bedrock Edition from G2A. Number 4. Bundles if you have organization OCD, then turn that frown upside down. Because bundles will now allow for custom stacks. You heard me right, Sub. Just how stacks of blocks can include 64 of the same block. Bundles are sacks or Minecraft's version of bags. And you're able to put 64 of, well, anything in any combination. Items and blocks of all kinds can go in here and be dragged around. That means you'll be able to hold a huge array of items and even whole inventories worth of gear. Maybe you can even put these in shulker boxes. Unfortunately, 64 slots is simply not enough to fit the humongous bundle of subscribers we've got here on the channel. The growth has been crazy. And with the 1.17 update coming directly ahead for us, planning to completely revamp the game, we're gonna have so much Minecraft content coming to the channel. You've gotta subscribe or you're gonna miss the part. Party. So what are you waiting for? It's only one click away. And be sure to hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Number 5. Amethyst Geodes these purpley pink crystals can now be found in pockets of deep caves. They can be harvested, although the source blocks can apparently not be moved. The amethysts themselves also can be used to craft a telescope. And although we don't know the recipe, we know that it can help zoom in the perspective of the character, kind of like Optifine. How cool is that? Number 6. 
Archaeology. Wait, what? Seriously? Honestly, this new feature kind of feels like it should be in the education edition of the game. But at least they didn't add a bunch of dinosaurs like in the mods. I mean, there's plenty of those on Java and Bedrock. So instead, this 1.17 archaeological dig site can be found as a random structure with chest packed with a new brush tool, which can sweep away gravel to find hidden secret artifacts or valuables. In some cases, fragments of pottery can be found with lore-related imagery on them, such as Alex or a dragon. They can even be heated up together when added to the side of a new clay pot item to make customized pot decorations. Quite a unique and interesting mechanic. Number 7. Mountains Yes, the mountains are being updated. And did you know that means that they're being made bigger? I thought they couldn't get big enough, but apparently they said yes. Via the screenshot, we can tell that the terrain generation max height is certainly going to be increased. Increase for mountainous biomes. But maybe that means the overall build height will also be jumped up too, Sub. So, potentially, with all the new cave updates, and considering you can fly an Elytra down there, plus an additional addition to the mountain size. Either they're increasing the build limit, or they're using up a lot more of the empty space within the current limit. Number 8. Glow Squid the mob vote sub, while not a biome. The voting tradition has featured mobs before, and 2020 was no different. You did vote right, sub. What for? You don't want to tell us? Ha! I bet it was the Moo Bloom. Anyways, the Glow Squid won, and now players everywhere are gonna get to see it in game. Swimming! And that's about it. Nothing else is really known about the squid. Rumor had it, it would have had a special hypnotizing feature. But Mojang have since denied this. At least the squid will kind of sort of glow a bit. Although there's even some more debate over that. Number 9. Goats. Inhabiting the mountain will be a new passive mob that'll hit back if provoked. Goats can bounce very high, which will come in useful when climbing the tall peaks in which they spawn. Goats can also headbutt pretty hard. That looks painful. Number 10. Lush Caves. Finally, a cave biome. Hopefully this one is the first of many. Filled with life, signified by a special tree. On the surface, illuminated by glow berries. An atmosphere of spores via a giant flower. Spores via giant flowers. And even algae filled water that is eaten by the new Oxalotl mob. This place will definitely flesh out cave systems and add some character. Number 11, the Deep Dark. Another new cave biome. This can be found at the very bottom depths of the world near Bedrock and has a new type of stone and a weird block called Skulk. There's even weird candles and a strong spooky mob called the Warden that cannot see, but instead hears you. The Deep Dark also produces a pulsating blinding effect on your screen when exploring. Number 12, Dripstone Caves and Water Caves. Our new final cave biomes. The Dripstone Caves feature many new hanging formations, while the water caves show us some winding tunnels and bog caverns with large underground lakes and pillars. Number 13, Lightning Rod. A small addition, but for a long time, players wanted to control the lightning more. And now, they can by placing one of these and channeling the strike. Ooh, how electrifying. <laughs> Number 14, Stalactites. From the dripstone caves, and not to be confused with stalagmites that are also in this update, these rocky drips fall down and crash, potentially causing damage. That would make sense, as falling on the stalagmites also causes damage too. Just think of all the traps, uh. Can you think of any stalactic-based pranks or trap ideas? Maybe you could use these to trigger redstone or activate a machine for a secret entrance. Sub wants to see your suggestions below, and also tell us what videos you want to see next. Number 15, Skulk Sensor. 
I'll just say it, wireless redstone. I actually can't believe I'm saying it, but it's actually going to be possible without mods. Using the skulk sensors gathered from the deep dark, which may also include beating the warden with enchanted netherite armor, players will be able to produce wireless redstone-based contraptions. They showed off a basic idea of what's possible at Minecraft Live, but honestly, we're gonna go crazy with this. You can even block signals with wool. The redstone community has done so much with wired stuff. Just imagine what's possible now in creative mode. Now that vibrations can be used to control and detect things, there's limitless possibilities. I'm going crazy with ideas, and I hope you are too, sir. What with all the new content that's coming to Minecraft? As soon as they drop a snapshot, you'll be able to set up pranks, make amazing builds and secret entrances, even provide all the viewers at home with a bunch of useful tips and tricks. Hopefully you've all enjoyed and hope, hopefully you all enjoyed and hopefully you've all subscribed. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.